Happy Thursday, Chitter Queer Chat. It's story time. I've been thinking long and hard trying to think of a really good story to tell you all because I have lived this awesome, colorful, fascinating life, and I've got so many cool stories to tell. But I didn't want to tell some, some you know, half-baked story. I didn't want to tell some story that has been told a million times before. I didn't want to tell some story that was just, you know, average. I didn't want to tell, you know, some some weak, not terribly interesting story. Hi, Tuxie. Oh, when I turn the camera on, Tuxie wants attention. Arr. Or maybe Tux just wants to hear the story. So, how many of you, how many of you have heard of Get Equal, the human rights <clears throat> and queer rights organization that has been making waves for a little over a year now? Get Equal has had people uh, chained up to the White House fence. Get Equal has given hell to politicians. Uh, Get Equal managed to even stop traffic literally in Las Vegas last year, one day. Well, how many of you have heard of Robin McGehee, the illustrious leader of Get Equal? <clears throat> well, Robin McGehee is this powerhouse. She's this, this dynamo. She's just amazing. I went to college with her. But back then, although she was still an amazing powerhouse, dynamo, awesome person, she was totally in the closet. Oh, man. She was a complete and total closet case. And I had the biggest crush on her. And I liked to uh, give her a hard time, uh, much to the uh, uh, amusement and probably occasional chagrin of my uh, girlfriend. So I was constantly uh, harassing Robin. I asked her out uh, probably a hundred times. <laughs> I was like, come on, Robin. We could both use a beard. You could be my beard. I could be your beard. She never once fell for it. But I did a million little things to get her attention and to drive her crazy. I know I'm three minutes into the video. I haven't started the story yet. It's all about the build-up. So here we go. Having been in school now for better part of three years with Robin, one day, and I'll spare you all the little boring details of how this came about, I decided to run against her for Student Government Association President. She was running for re-election and I decided to give it a go. Now at the time I was partying really hard. I mean really, really, really hard. And I was known as a hard party in person at that school. And the idea of me being the Student Government Association president, hard partier than I that I was, was really amusing to a bunch of people and so a lot of people wanted to vote for me just to see what it would be like to have me as the SGA president and I wasn't really putting much effort into it I wasn't putting up signs around campus I wasn't really doing anything really exotic I didn't have a platform or anything like that uh, the word just spread like mad and I had this big populist support going and my my entire campaign was I'm doing it to aggravate Robin which cracked people up and even though people thought she was awesome 
Just the idea that I was running against her just to get her goat blew people away. And uh, she started getting nervous. So she started saying, Oh, I don't know about this. It's not looking good. And, and she approached me several times going, Oh, are you sure about this? You know, oh my goodness. Finally, one day in front of the uh, cafeteria building where we have our meals, she caught me and and she was like, "Oh, this is killing me! This is killing me! You, you got to drop out of the race. This is uh, you're you're gonna win, and this is really important to me, and it means nothing to you, and it's all just a joke to you. Oh my God, you got to drop out of the race because you're you're winning by a landslide. You're killing me." And uh, and she said, "I'll do anything." And uh, my girlfriend and I were just like chuckling. And uh, and I was like, anything? <laughs> Come on, it's just SGA president. And she said, I will get on my knees and beg. And uh, and I said, okay, that'll do it. Really? Okay, really? You're you're not jerking my chain, are you? And I was like, no, really. You just you know that yeah, that's that's more than enough. Go for it. And uh, so right there on the spot with probably a couple hundred people standing around. She got on her knees and she just begged. She was like, I, Robin McGee, on my knees, beg you to drop out of the SGA president race. And I was dying. I was absolutely dying. I was laughing so hard. Um, and I was like, okay, uh, a deal's a deal. Uh, I'm out. She thought I was kidding. She's like, you're not kidding, are you? Nope, not kidding. You, you win. You know you're you're gonna have an uncontested race for SGA president, and uh, and she was oh I'm so grateful for it. Yeah, I said oh one more thing. I uh, never turned into paperwork to run, so you've actually been running uncontested, and we we're far past the deadline for me to turn in paperwork. So, um, you you were going to win uh, unanimously anyway. I don't care! Ah! And uh, so she was so super happy, and she went on and she was re-elected Student Government Association President, and uh, she continued to do a, a great job for a second year. She went on and graduated and went on and became who she is today. And uh, she's obviously no longer in the closet. She's out rocking and rolling, um, and making things happen for the queer community and I am just eternally proud that I got to totally burn her ah it's the little things you know it's the little things I'm not Gandhi I'm just some queer who pranked the future founder of Get Equal